Okay, so we are going to use the same strategy with question 11. Simply copy this, copy the formula, and then take it back to your working document. And then you can type it uh, using any cell. Okay, just control V to paste it. You see, you see what it did. It actually returned the time, uh, the date and time. Okay, so this comes from this. If you if you want, you can simply type it, okay? Just say equals to now uh, in caps, okay? Or simply uh, double click on this one, okay? And, and write your closing brackets and then say enter. You see, it returns the date. Uh, today is the 6th of June and it's I'm actually doing this at uh, 7, 7 p.m. Okay, 7.02. So that is your answer. Go back to your assignment and then returns the current date and time. That is the correct answer. Okay. Okay. Then after doing that, I'm not going to demonstrate this because uh, should I demonstrate this? Nah, I'm not going to demonstrate this. I'm just going to give you the answer for this one. We'll, we'll discuss this later because I'm rushing. I have, I still have to write this assignment and make sure that i get 100 percent okay but the correct answer is this one it searches for a value in the first column of a table and returns a value in the same row from a specified column okay so that is your correct answer okay okay so okay what excel feature will you use to extract specific data from a larger data set based on certain criteria okay uh, you will simply use a filter okay guys i think uh, i'm running out of time so i'll simply tell you the answers okay <laughs> yeah so you'll basically use a filter okay so what feature will you use to rotate text uh, within a cell in uh, excel uh, okay this one won't take too long let me just let me just uh, show you okay let's say we wanted to rotate this text here uh this is the option that we are going to use we can make it uh angle anti-clockwise blah 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 okay so that is basically text rotation yeah that's the correct answer i'm just showing this because it's easier to do okay and takes less time so your correct answer there is text orientation okay it's text orientation okay so after using the text orientation this is text orientation mm, okay what's the next question uh the next question okay or uh, what file extension is commonly used for excel workbooks okay that's simply the this one here dot x xlsx okay that is your correct answer uh okay i'm running out of time mm -hmm. so okay what function will you use to combine the contents of two or more cells uh into one cell in excel into one cell in excel okay uh it is definitely uh the what the concatenation okay you will definitely concatenate this is the option that you'll use. This is a feature that you'll use to actually combine two things, okay?